Hello, David. A few days ago, someone asked me on comments, how is being a Muslim in Korea? Hmm, I'm curious too. So I asked my Muslim friend. I thought it's not easy to stay here because it's too different. But she told me, it's good to live here. She said, in Korea, there is no Islamophobia. They are very kind and nice to Muslims. I'm so proud I'm Korean. But of course, they will look at you when you walk down the street. But don't worry, they are just curious. It's not hatred. They look at other foreigners too. Just enjoy it. Like, I'm unicorn in the street. I'm so pretty. I'm so beautiful. I'm so precious. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, there is no hatred against Muslims in Korea, but there are still uncomfortable things. So, I will tell you this today. What would make Muslims hard to live in Korea? Let's go. First, obviously, food. I think it's 90% uncomfortable thing. You know, eating is the most important thing in your life, right? Isn't it? Only for me. But it's really hard to eat something in Korea. Koreans love pork, but there are reasons. 170s, Japan's economy developed so fast and they want meat, so they bought a lot of meat from Korea. But, but how to deal with the last of the pork? The Korean government encouraged eating pork to people, so the last of the pork is Hamjapsa, pork belly. So we started to eat this a lot. <laughs> That's it. So anyway, if you go to Pashik staff dinner, Korean culture, they usually eat soju and samgyeopsal. Oh damn! Pork and alcohol is terrible for Muslims. And also, if you want to eat something outside, it's not easy either. Even if you can't find pork in your food, Korean soup are usually based on pork meat. So you should ask first before you eat. 이모, 여기 돼지고기 들어가야? Second, Korean people don't know about hijab well. They are still kind even if you wear hijab, but there are uncomfortable moments. For example, when you go to hair salon, oh, Korean hair salon is really good. You should go. Oh, anyway. Sometimes male hairdresser come to you. Hey, sir, I will cut your hair. What style do you want? Oh my god. You should explain them. I need female hairdresser. <gasps> 남자 안 돼. 안 돼. 남자 안 돼. And if you go to take picture for ID card, some of them will ask you, can you take off your skull? Oh my god. It's lewd. But in Korea, there are rules to show eyebrows and ears when you take ID photo. So that's why. But many people don't know this fact. Korean government allowed the hijab on the ID card. The law was changed. Look at this. Hijab and turban is okay, but burqa, tador, kimar, niqab is not allowed. But some photographs can still ask you to take off hijab then tell them can you take off your pants right now you are so lewd <laughs> no 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 I'm kidding just explain him okay if you still don't understand then just come to me I will take photo for you kimchi Third, praying. It's important. I know Muslims have to pray five times a day, but Korean people don't know about this well. So maybe it's a little bit uncomfortable to explain every time when you pray. But don't worry too much. If you explain, they will understand you. Kind Koreans. I talked about uncomfortable things for Muslims in Korea. I hope it can be helpful to you. If there's a wrong thing, please tell me. Okay, I'm done. So I want to say this. Don't afraid to come to Korea. I will wait for you.